back at Clever TV's coverage of the 40th annual American Music whoa. Awards. I'm Jocelyn Davis <laughs> with Dana Ward, hey and woe is right, not only because this show has been going on for 40 years, but I have to say the caliber of the performances this year was woe worthy indeed. Oh, completely. I was actually <laughs> saying to you, Jocelyn, earlier, if I could only choose one show to be at and be in the audience, this is the one I would choose. The artists are amazing. You can tell they're putting so much mm -hmm. effort into their performances because they're surrounded by all of the top artists of the year in the industry. So it's just been so fun to watch. And uh, right now we're gonna recap two of our favorite performances, Katy Perry versus Gaga, because they've kind of been going head to head mm -hmm. um, in real life because their album came out at the same right, time. Right, exactly. Um, so who should we start off with? Well, let's start off with <laughs> Katy Perry. Just keep it chronological. She was at Great. the top of the show and she had a very Japanese inspired, almost geisha inspired totally. performance. And I thought it was beautiful. Um, some of the instruments that were being played were traditional, mm -hmm. and it really gave it that extra added flair. Not to mention, I mean, the makeup, the costumes, everything. Um, I think I don't think you can argue that this was an absolutely amazing, gorgeous, beautifully done performance. Mm -hmm. It was definitely a stage show. Definitely, you could tell that there was so much choreography for all aspects of this song. Of course, she did mm -hmm. Unconditionally, which is such a beautiful song. The so music moving. video is amazing. Mm -hmm. But this, I mean, every she, they had thought of everything from the costumes to the makeup to her voice. It not, was beautiful. I mean, not to mention just the graphics. And yeah. I think at one point there were petals or something falling from the ceiling. Flower-shaped confetti. It was like a sensory experience, I'm sure, for people who were lucky enough to be oh, there. And amazing. I totally, honestly, I had goosebumps during this Song. And you know what's really interesting is that I think a lot of the performances that tend to really get you going, especially when you're watching from home, are the ones that have a lot of dancing and like crazy, mm -hmm. upbeat, super poppy driven performances. This is a little more mellow, but not really. I thought the right. choreography was just so beautifully done. Yeah, I mean, head to toe, and I mean stage, head to toe, mm -hmm. was absolutely amazing, breathtaking. I guess that's what I would say about it. It was a breathtaking performance from yeah. Katy Perry. Just very, very beautiful. Kind of like the music video, just aesthetically really, really pretty. Exactly, pretty. exactly. But I then- I was sad there was no owl. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> but then to totally mix it up, Gaga really just like told a story with her performance. JFK inspired, she was the Marilyn Monroe. Um, R. Kelly. R. Kelly was along for the ride. They did a great job. <laughs> Do what you want with, with my, my body. body. <laughs> and she has an incredible voice, I have to say. And oh, what was amazing. so different about what she and Katie did, but equally as great, was that she was acting, singing. It, she was doing many, many things. Mm -hmm. Doing. She was even putting on lipstick at one point and singing while holding a microphone and looking in the mirror. I mean, I can't even walk and talk at the same time, so I'm pretty impressed. And we got a little flashback action. We got to see her when she was a kid playing mm -hmm. the piano. Just in case you forgot for a moment How that she's a she is. true musician. Um, it was just, it was, it was fun. I thought it yeah. was light and fun. And of course, it was the um, 50th anniversary of JFK's assassination mm -hmm. just the other day. So. You know, in true Gaga form, sense. she wanted to kind of make a statement about what's happening in the world right now. Very, very cool. And I mean, overall, the performances were incredible. I don't even know how to pick a favorite because they were just all top notch. And, and another mm -hmm. thing I want to add that we saw tonight is that everyone was actually singing. Right. These singers were actually singing. What? Which what? sometimes, you know, it's none of my beeswax, but you know, I'm sure it's very challenging, but I was very impressed again, by the caliber of talent. People were actually singing. Woohoo! That's right. Well, you guys hit the comment section. We want to hear from you. We want to know which performance from these two powerful ladies was your favorite. Was it Katy Perry with Unconditionally? Ooh. Or was it Gaga and R. Kelly on Do oh. What You Want With My Body? We want to hear from you, so hit the comment section. And also, if you want to get all the details on Miley Cyrus's performance, which oh, man. featured what, Dana? What did that oh, feature? Oh my goodness, it featured our favorite life-size, well not even life-size, bigger Larger than, than life, life, kitty cat, who was singing along. It, if it was a duet with Miley Cyrus, so, this cat in space. Exactly, you guys, click the link below <laughs> to get all the details on Miley's performance with her cat friend in outer space, time traveling, um, yeah. winking, tongue action going Crying. on. Crying. I mean, I'm I'm clicking the link right now. I don't know about you. I'm clicking yeah, it. Yeah, we're click. leaving. We're going to leave click. and go click, click right now. Click, click, click. 